You know, many people are already talking about how we're at the tail end of our dry season. And then before we know it, summer is going to be here. And that means those rain showers almost every afternoon. And if you have to bring the kids in from the pool and beach, well, then what do you do? Let's go ahead and get some suggestions on rainy day fun with our friend and lifestyle expert, Lee Moore Suss, who joins us now. Good morning, Lee Moore. How are you today? Good morning. Yes, I know that you guys love to have your rain showers right in the middle of the day. For us, it's like rainy all day and like torrential downpours. So we're always looking for indoor activities to do with the kids and just have some fun where, you know, they don't go stir crazy. I love this. And I don't think you and I have ever talked about this before. So I think it's such a great subject. And so I'm glad we're doing it. Where do we begin? What is that go to that you have in your home that you know will pass some time by? Okay, so, you know, I have two little boys at home, so it gets very active and there's a lot, they need a lot of activities. And so I love this. This is the VTech Smart Shots Sports Center. So what it is, is it's an electronic sports center and it's basically a two-in-one uh, play experience. So I love it because it includes a soccer net uh, and a basketball hoop. It comes with two little balls so the boys can just play and have fun. Or if you have girls and they want to play and have fun, and, you know, you toss the basketball into the hoop. Uh, there's an LED screen that counts the number of baskets. You, when you kick the soccer ball into the net, the sports center will respond with encouraging sounds and phrases. So kind of like a babysitter for yourself. Obviously, you want to make sure you're watching the kids. But, you know, kind of having fun. Um, I love this in my basement. Even though my kids are a little bit older uh, right now, they still play with us all the time. Um, and, I, you know, you just really love the LED screen. Uh, it has fun animations, it builds fine motor skills, and they really get to learn, you know, shapes, numbers, hearing fun sounds, and you can get it right on Amazon. Uh, and a really great thing to have, you know, when you're when you're stuck inside and uh, even just, to, you know, at night or in the morning or whatever it might be. Absolutely. Burn off some energy. I like the thought of that. <laughs> so, Limor, I actually have a five-year-old little girl, and anymore, she comes home from preschool, and she's all about the, like, DIY, crafting, you know, making creative things in the kitchen with her hands. That's not really my strong point. <laughs> Anything I could do there when she comes home wanting to do something in the creative world? Yes, 100%. So, the next two are going to be great for her. So, if you want a fun snack, uh, I know that a lot of times, you know, the kids, they want to uh, create something, but then, you know, sometimes baking something excessive gets a little bit messy in the kitchen. So I like to keep it super simple. So over here, I'm making s'mores nachos. So all I've done here is I took some graham crackers and I just broke them up into little pieces. And then just take any chocolate you have in the house. If you have chocolate bunnies like I had in the studio, just break them <laughs> up uh, right <laughs> onto the top. Uh, but you can use whatever chocolate you can see right there. And then you just add some mini marshmallows and you add it, you broil it. Um, but make sure when you're broiling it to keep the oven door open or you just put on a lower uh, temperature in the oven uh, and then you bake it. And then I like to do the chocolate first so it melts and then you put the marshmallows on top and it's really easy peasy. And it's just like this decadent, delicious dessert without all the mess and the kids still love doing it. I like that one. Hey, real fast, we've only got about a minute left. And when we go yep. into the science experiment world, that's something else my daughter's interested in. That, well, I need some help. Yeah, so this is a lemon volcano. So my son actually made this for his uh, science project in school. So if you're looking for one, this is a great idea. So all you do is you take a lemon and you want to slice both sides so it kind of stands still. Uh, you want to add some food coloring. And then the food coloring is really just for fun. And then you add some baking soda. And then what you're going to do is you're going to smash it in together. Uh, you can see my son doing it. But if you want, you can just add some lemon juice on top. And it, it erupts like a volcano. And they love it. And it's so much fun. Um, and, you know, if you don't have lemon juice, you can also do it with vinegar. And it's really just a really, like, I got to tell you, my son did this for his science project. And he did it over and over and over again and just loved doing it. So a really fun easy activity to do with the kids that you have with things around the house. And you know what I liked about both of these last two things? I feel like it's easy cleanup. Everything's right there on a plate or a tray. And so it's not like making a huge mess, which I appreciate as well. 100%. I will say, yes, yeah, so I'm glad you said that. I would put the lemons in some kind of container that's going to catch it all because you want to make sure that 
uh, it doesn't get all over the table Look, or wherever it is. I, I, I liked how you did it. I liked how you did, you know, with the plate there that we saw your son. Anyways, Lee Moore, we are out of time. Thanks for doing this segment. It was definitely a good one today. And as always, if you're looking for more of Lee Moore's tips, just check out leemore.tv or follow her on Instagram at leemoresus. Take care of yourself, and I hope to see you soon. Yes, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>